Well, uh, good Wednesday afternoon to you. Um, just going to share just a little bit of God's Word to you. A uh, verse I read today and just something that I got out of it, and I hope you'll get something out of it too. It's in Hebrews 10, and I'm going to be reading verse 19. Hebrews 10 and verse 19. It says this, Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holiness by the blood of Jesus. And what this tells me and, and what it's telling us today is that through Jesus Christ dying on the cross and shedding his blood, we now have access to God. We can come boldly, and that's what it says there, boldness to enter into the holiness by the blood of Jesus. The thing about this, though, we don't have the boldness or the confidence to approach God until we become a Christian. When you become a Christian, you don't have to come to me to go to God. You don't have to come to anybody else. You know, when you become a Christian, you have that right to be able to approach the throne of God. And how do we approach the throne of God? We approach the throne of God by praying and talking to God. Praying, reading his word, studying his word. And as a Christian... We have immediate access to God through through Jesus Christ. He says the blood of Jesus Christ gives us the honor and the privilege, whatever you want to call it, to be able to approach God. Um, and that's something good today to have. You know, a lot of a lot of religions out there can't can't boast that. You know, just as we studied a few Sundays ago, where um, Elijah was praying out to God to send the fire onto the altar and the other prophets were, were praying to their little G-O-D God and they didn't he didn't hear them and they didn't get any results. And that's the way it is with a lot of religions today. They can't claim this, that we, like we have, direct access to God. Hope you've had a good week so far and uh, we'll be seeing you on Sunday. Let's pray. Father, we just come to you tonight. We thank you, Lord, for the privilege and the honor that we have as we read this verse tonight, that we have the boldness, the confidence, and just the right to be able and the privilege to be able to approach your throne every time that we need you. And I thank you for that today. And especially, Lord, if there's anyone hearing this verse tonight that's not a Christian and don't have that boldness, Lord, I pray that they would understand the, the need for a relationship with you before it's everlastingly too late. Pray for our prayer list, Lord, those that are on there that are having tests ran and uh, possible surgeries and then the, the losing of a loved one, Lord. And, and we just pray that you'll be with them right now and uh, just continue to watch over Miss Susan's sister and, and her situation, Lord. And just pray that you continue to be with our church as we strive to be the lighthouse here in this community where you have placed us, Lord, as we ask these things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.